This is the grade six math practice test for T and ready on the current version. This is question number four. Which of the following questions are statistical questions? Select all that apply. A couple things to note here, even before we get started, they do not waste ink for questions to put all there if they don't expect you to have very likely more than one answer. If you see all in a question, make sure you're not just circling one of them unless there is an absolute very good reason that you're doing it. Otherwise, they wouldn't bother with that question type most of the time. That's not always true, but be more careful if you only have one answer. Make sure that you answer the question that you um, are asked. In this case, they want you to get all of them. So if you just pick one because it's the first one that matches, even though you got that question, that part of the question correct, they'll still count the whole thing wrong most of the time. So don't lose points for just not paying attention. And the other issue is statistical questions. What's a statistical question? What defines it? Two things. Number one, that you'll have to collect data. Data is actually a plural form. form. Datum is the uh, singular. It means that you'll have to go get information from multiple sources. And it's not a single answer. If it's a single answer, it's not a statistical question, you know, how many shirts are in your dresser is not a statistical question. It's just one number, so that's not enough. And the other thing that you'll need is what's called variability. Variability. Okay, I was making sure. I think I spelled that one correctly. Hopefully so. Um, it just means that there's possibility that the answers are going to be different. If everyone is assigned a textbook or a laptop in your school and you ask every student how many textbooks and or laptops were you assigned, they're all going to give you the same number if it's been controlled in that way. So that's not a statistical question. So let's take a look at A, B, C, D, and E and see which ones meet the criteria. A, how many people are in your family? No, it's not. It, you're not collecting data. It's a single number. There's two people. There's four people. There's 25 people. Whatever. As, as a person who asks that question, you'll probably have to be clear on what family indicates. It's like people that live in your house, or is it everybody? But either way, it won't matter. It's a single number, and they're only asking you about your own family, so it's not a statistical question. They're not saying that this is a question that some sort of researcher is asking lots of people. Maybe they are, but they don't say that, so you can't identify this as a statistical question because they're not collecting data. B, how many books did your family read this month? That's it. Uh, whatever month you're in right now, or probably in some ways, I don't know why they'd ask about this month unless it's the end of the month. But anyway, however many that they've read to that point is a specific number. You might have to go to everybody in your family and ask them, but that doesn't lead to individual answers to this question. The only answer to this question is the exact number of books read. So if the answer is seven, then that's what it is. Even if you're, uh, one of your siblings read four of those books and three was split up between everybody else. It doesn't matter because the difference in those two is not something this question measures. It's just measuring the final answer. So it's not a statistical question. C, how many minutes do you usually read each night? Again, it's a single answer. You say, I usually read 20 minutes. Now, to get to that point, you might have to do some data collection, but the question itself doesn't ask you to do it. It just says, how many minutes do you read every night? Oh, 20 minutes or whatever it is. Nothing. Um, I don't know your life, but it falls in there and it's just a single number, so that's out. D, how many siblings does each student in your class have? Now, this absolutely meets the criteria for collecting data. I'm going to have to go to each one of the students in, or students in my class and ask them about their number of siblings. That's going to be a requirement for this question. So one is met. And two, variability. I would imagine that at least one person does not have the exact same number of siblings as everybody else. And it's highly unlikely that there isn't a reasonable swath of numbers in your classroom. I mean, you could test it if you wanted to. How many siblings do you have? But you'll have to go around and ask all of them and then collect all that data. So this is absolutely a statistical question. And then we can take that data and actually analyze it. We can start looking at, like, what's the average number? Uh, you know, what's the median or mean? And what about uh, range? That whole thing. But we would need to collect that first, so that's definitely one. And E, how many minutes does each student in your class typically read every night? 
Again, I'm going to have to go to lots of different people. I'll probably get different answers. Um, so it is like, even if I don't get different answers, the possibility of there being variability is enough. Uh, if everybody's like, no, nope, never read. Every single person in your class never reads. Or every single person in your class reads 20 minutes a night because they talk about all the announcements or you read a study that's important or whatever it is. It's certainly possible that somebody goes rogue and reads more or less or some different way uh, of doing their reading. Maybe they spend three hours reading at night. The possibility of variability is there, and you have to collect the data, so E is also a statistical question. And that's it. So again, if you're looking for statistical questions, look for the type of question that you'd have to go around and gather information for to get many different answers, and then you can use those different answers to look at the data as a group in your analysis.